it's an interesting question about the relationship between dance and architecture. And it reminds me of a phrase that architects often use to describe architecture, and that's a frozen music. And I think in, in many respects, you could refer to it as, as being frozen dance. You know, we, we deal with, with form, with movement, with many of the same types of issues. But of course, we're using different materials and different ways of, of expressing our creativity. We came up with the Artist in Residence program to allow artists to collaborate with us and helps us ask those questions and look at the world a bit differently. For me, the intersection of dance and architecture has to do with the fact they both take space. I think they take space in, in similar and different ways. Obviously, architecture is, in a literal sense, it's very permanent, and dance, in a literal sense, is, is moving. However, architecture does move. It gives a sense of movement and flow. And so I think connecting that to dance and using it as an inspiration to create dance is a good place to start the collaboration between the two forms. How does space affect us in the way we move? It's a is a really interesting question and I think that's, you know, really at the heart of architecture and design is how to how to get that right to create a space that uh, makes us feel good psychologically but also physically. And I think in an aquatic center it's really crucial because uh, perhaps it's the fact that you're you're wearing fewer clothes, I suppose. There's a certain vulnerability and a kind of uh, an experiential or an awareness of your own body that I think is heightened in an aquatic center. Dancers understand space completely different than architects do. And for me, that was one of those aha moments where we said, exactly, that's exactly why we're doing this. It's exactly why we are investing our energy and our time in, in having these types of conversations and collaborations with different design disciplines because it's so critical for us as architects to understand that there's so many different ways to understand space and understand the impact on the communities that we serve. And so it's really exciting to be from that conversation to be here today and seeing the work in action.